And to Peru we go, where rampant corruption cost the country a staggering $3.5 billion a year. That's according to Prime Minister Ana Jara. Our correspondent Rayo Mora has the story. While the Peruvian executive wages a campaign about the impact of corruption on social spending, the Congress Ethics Commission has accused a new congressman of corruption and recommended he be sanctioned. The accusations are that he interfered in the actions of the prosecutors, using his position as congressman. This is what the Ethics Commission said yesterday, after a study by the technical secretary. The commission recommended that Congressman Ediberto Benitez be suspended from office. According to former anti-corruption prosecutor Julio Arbizu, such cases of corruption are the norm. The situation has improved, but the type of corruption that occurs is now harder to eliminate because it has been normalized in society. This normalization that I talk about has increased. There isn't a criminal organization as such inside the state, but there are a nuclei of corruption inside the institutions. There are the leftovers of the 1990s corruption. So I think that in many ways, the history of this country is marked by that decade, the decade of Fujimori. The government estimates that approximately 2% of the GDP, or 3.5 billion US dollars per year, are lost due to corruption. It also estimates that with that amount, it could build 72 hospitals, 360 modern schools, or create more than 200,000 jobs. Reporting for Lima, Peru, for Telesur, Rael Mora. And thanks to Rael.